بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہیو نائس ڈے ہوپ یو ول بی فائن اینڈ بیسٹ آف یور ہیلتھ دس از ڈاکٹر ساجد محمود راؤ ڈویژن آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن لاہور ٹوڈے وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اے بریف اوور ویو آن دا کلاسیفیکیشن آف دا نیچرل پروڈکٹس ان پریویس سیشن وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا پلانٹ سورسز فارماکولوجیکل اپلیکیشنس ان ویٹرو انالیسس اینڈ نیوٹراسوٹیکل پروڈکٹس of alkaloids, steroids, lignanes and carotenoids, saponins and anthocyanins, carbohydrates and terpenoids. So in this session, we will discuss the importance, applications, pharmacological as well as different pharmaceutical brands and their isolation sources of xanthones, cumarines, flavonoids, glycosides, polyketides, tannins and terpenoids. Let's see what are the xanthones. Xanthones are one of the biggest class of compounds in natural product chemistry. Xanthones are secondary metabolites and their structures are related to that of flavonoids. They are polyphenolic heterocyclic compounds. You can see over here the structures of xanthones which consist of two phenol phenyl groups. The second molecule is gratinine which consists of a large number of polyhydroxyl and polyphenolic groups. So first of all we discuss the different sources and uses of xanthone molecules. Xanthone is found in different families of the plants and that families are Bonetiaceae, Glucyaceae, Podostemaceae and others. They are also found in some species of the genus Eris. Some xanthones are found in the pericarp of the mangosteen fruit that is called Garcinia mangostena as well as in the bark of different plants. Xanthones are used as antioxidant, anti-tumor, anti-allergic, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral activities. The second molecule is gratinine. Now we see its sources and uses. Gratinine is found in the plant of Garcinia mangostina and it is used in, in autopathy, apoptosis and the growth of human urinary bladder cancer cell lines. Xanthones are soluble in water and they are mostly soluble in hot water due to the presence of hydroxyl group in phenyl group. Now let's see how the xanthones are identified. So xanthones in methanolic and petroleum ether extract is detected by antimony dichloride. It shows greenish blue color. Take a sample in ferric chloride solution gives formations of bluish black precipitates which indicates the presence of xanthone phytoconstituents. When we see its sources, xanthones are scanty metabolites commonly occurring in fungi, lichen and higher plants families such as Janitiaceae, Gotifera, Moraceae, Gruciaceae and Polyglyaceae. When we see its biological activities, it is used as anti-inflammatory activity due to the presence of magniferin and it is used as hypoglycemic activity due to the presence of belly diphalin and it is used as insect repellent activity and mutagenic activity which is due to the presence of sweatinia phytoconstituents. These are the phytoconstituents which fall in the category of xanthone molecules. You can see over here three phytoconstituents. The first molecule is gambogic acid which is rich with anti-tumor activity. The second molecule is mangiferin which is rich with anti-inflammatory activity. The third molecule is mangosteen, which is rich with antibacterial activity. Now we see the sources of these molecules as well as their other pharmacological applications. The first molecule is gambogic acid. Gambogic acid is derived from the brownish or orange resin from Carcinia plant. It is used in its acid form as a novel anti-cancer agent that inhibits cell proliferation, angiogenesis and metastasis, ability to detoxify, kill parasites and stop bleeding as a hemostatic agent. The second molecule is magniferin. Magniferin is also known as magnifera indica which is extracted from the mango peels as well as it is found in the genera Celesia and Cyclopia. It is used for the productions against chronic disorders and treatment of the acute ailments, antioxidants, anti-infectious, anti-diabetic, 
anti-atherosaclorotic and cardiovascular effects to enhance the cognitive brain functions. The next molecule is mangosteen. This molecule is found in the plant Garcinia mangostena. It is used for diarrhea, urinary tract infections, gonorrhea, thrush, tuberculosis, menstrual disorder, cancer, osteoarthritis, and an intestinal infection called dysentery. It is also used for stimulating the immune system and improving mental health. Xanthones can also be used in the field of medicinal applications as well as in fertilizers. You can see over here the molecule sulfonated xanthones which are used as a cytotoxicity agent in cancer cell lines. The second molecule is 7-chloro-1,2,3 trihydroxy. 6 methoxyxanthone which is used as anti proliferative activity against the human intestinal adenocarcinoma cell lines. The second activity is fertilizer activity in which crude extract of civetia is used in insect repellent activity and hookery extract is used as antimicrobial activity. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which Phytoconstituents that have uh, fall in the category of xanthones have been formulated and evaluated in different dosage form. So let's see the first brand. The name of that brand is Mangosteen. It is manufactured by Advanced Physician Formulas and we take its dose 500 mg per day. So this brand is formulated in capsule dosage form that is serving as uh, 60 capsules per container. This brand is used to immune system enhancer and it is used energy production as well as antioxidant activity. The second brand is GCM50. In this brand, Garcinia mangostana extract is used as active extract. It is formulated by the healthcare formula and we take its 50% pure extract in capsule dosage form. It is formulated in capsule dosage form that serving per contain 90 capsules. So it is used as obesity anti medicines. The last brand is Mangosteen Pericarp. It is manufactured by Mojo Body and we take its dose 1500 mg per day to 1800 mg per day and it can it is from in capsule dosage form so it can be taken 3 capsules per day. It is used as anti-inflammatory properties. It is used as antioxidant properties, combats free radicals as well as boost immunity. Let's see what are comoranes. Comoranes are the organic compounds containing six two member rings which fused with each other. One benzene ring and the other one contains alkenes and ester function groups. You can see over here three examples of the comorane molecules and these are the phytoconstituents which fall in the category of comoranes. The first molecule is warfarin second molecule is sorlin and the third one is xanthotoxin now we see the uses and uh, isolation sources of these phytoconstituents warfarin is isolated from comorane source and it is used as an anticoagulant agent which is used for blood thinner warfarin reduces the formation of blood clots warfarin is used to treat prevent blood clots in veins and arteries the second molecule is sorlin Sorodin is isolated from Ficus carcia, Hemi visconaga, as well as Foniculum vulgaris. It is used in different skin diseases like that of vitiligo and eczema. The third molecule is anthotoxin, which is isolated from Hemi magus, and it is also used for the treatment of skin diseases, and that includes vitiligo and eczema. Comorines are mostly soluble in ether, diethyl ether, chloroform, oil, pyridine, soluble in ethanol. Comorines are insoluble in water, but active drugs are 0.17 gram per 100 ml. Now we see the identification test of comorine molecules and check how these molecules are identified. The first test is test with ammonia. In this te test, 2 to 3 drops of ammonia is taken on filter paper and added few drops of aqueous extract of drug. It changes into green fluorescence color which indicates the presence of comorine molecules. 
the second test is taken with hydroxyl amine hydrochloride in this test we take ethereal extract of drug then added one drop of saturated alcoholic hydroxyl amine hydrochloride and added one drop of alcoholic potassium hydroxide then we heat it and then cooled after that acidify it with 0.5 normal hydrochloric acid then added 1% weight by volume five trichloride the overall results is violet coloration which indicates the presence of coumarin molecules these are some other sources from which xanthone molecules are isolated and these sources are tonka bean spath coumarin or data and lavender xanthone molecules also have biological activities it is used for the regulation of plant growth and metabolites it is also used as anticoagulant that is warfarin and anti tb that is sorolin there are different fatty constituents which are present in different sources other fatty constituents are sorolin that is found in the leaf and root of plants and bergaptan is found in the leaf of plants the other applications it is also used as a excipients as a sweetener flavor stabilizers order masker is used in organic dyes it is also used in photoredox catalyst xanthones are used in the formulations and evaluation of different pharmaceutical dosage form so you can see over here some important and famous products that have been launched in which different xanthones are used as phyto constituents the first brand is comadine it is manufactured by bristol myers skeeves and we take its dose 1 mg to 5 mg per day it is formulated in the form of tablet dosage form and it has anticoagulant activity that is called blood thinner activity the second brand is diflucan which is manufactured by pfizer and we take its dose 3 mg to 12 mg per day it is formulated in different pharmaceutical dosage form which includes tablet capsule syrup and cream dosage form it is used as an antifungal agent let's see what are the flavonoids flavonoids are a class of polyphenolic plants and fungus secondary metabolites flavonoids are a group of plants metabolites though to provide health benefits through cell signaling pathways and uh, antioxidant effects these molecules are found in variety of fruits and vegetables flavonoids uh, are polyphenolic molecules containing 15 carbon atoms and are soluble in water they consist of two benzene rings connected by a short three carbon chain one of the carbon chain in this chain is connected to a carbon in one of the benzene ring either through an oxygen bridge or directly which gives a third middle ring the flavonoids can be divided into six major subtypes which includes chalcones flavones isoflavonoids flavonones antha xantho sins and anthocyanins many of these molecules particularly the anthocyanins give rise to the yellow color of some peters while anthocyanins are often responsible for the red color of buds and the purple red color of autumn leaves flavonoids are abundant in plants in which they perform several functions they are essential pigments for producing the colors needed to attract the pollinating insects in high plants the flavonoids are also required for uv filtration nitrogen fixation cell cycle inhibition and as chemical messengers flavonoids secreted by a plant's roots and the symbiotic relationship between the rhizosphere and certain vegetables such as peas clover and beans you can see over here the basic skeleton of the flavonoid molecules flavonoids are soluble in less polar solvent high polar solvent and combinations of the organic and water solvents so we can see over here the molecules which are less soluble fractions that are isoflavones flavonones methylated flavones and these are soluble in chloroform dichloromethane diethyl ether and ethyl acetate so now we discuss the flavonoids which are rich with alcoholic and alcoholic water solutions that are flavonoids glycosides flavonoids are identified by using shinoda test and antimony pentachloride test the first test 
In this test, alcoholic solution of flavonoid is taken with magnesium metal hydrochloric acid. It gives the orange, red or violet color which indicates the presence of flavonoid molecules. In antimony pentachloride test, alcoholic solution of flavonoids is added to the antimony pentachloride and carbon tetrachloride solutions. It gives red or violet color which indicates the presence of flavonoid molecules. These are the sources of flavonoids which includes onions, ginger, celery, parsley are rich sources of flavonoids. The other sources of flavonoids are tea, citrus fruit, citrus fruit juices, berries, red wine, apples and legumes. Flavonoids are used as anti-allergic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, anti-cancer and anti-diarrheal activities. So, you can see over here some biological activities of uh, flavonoids that are very general and these are antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and anti-allergic. Now, we discuss some important phytoconstituents that fall in the category of xanthones. And these have very rich pharmaceutical applications. You can see over here, antioxidant is due to cysteine, anti-inflammatory is due to hesperidines and rutin and anti-allergic is due to caffirol. Now, we discuss in details the sources and uses of cysteine. Cysteine is found in many plants and foods such as red wine, onions, green tea, apples, berries, ginkgo biloba, buckwheat, tea has a large amount of cysteine. Cysteine is most commonly taken by moth to treat conditions of the heart and blood vessels and prevent cancer. It is also used for arthritis, bladder infections and diabetes, but there is limited scientific evidence to support these uses. So the second molecule that is camphirol, camphirol is uh, isolated from apples, onions, leeks, citrus fruits, grapes, red wines, ginkgo biloba and can be used as a strong antioxidant and helps to prevent oxidative damage of our cells, lipids and DNA. Camphirol seems to prevent artery sclerosis by inhibiting the oxidation of low density lipoproteins and the formations of platelets in the blood. Xanthones are used in the industry of food in fertilizers as well as pharmaceutical industries. You can see over here citrus fruit, red wine and strawberries are used in food industries and rocky prac is used in, as fertilizers and ginkgo biloba is the major and very brand common nutraceutical products which is used in pharmaceutical sectors. Now we can see over here some important pharmaceutical products and brands that have been launched in the market in which different flavonoid molecules are used as a phytoconstituents. The first brand is Flav Flavozet. It is manufactured by Fink Pharmaceuticals and we take its dose 500 to 1000 mg per day and it is formulated in tablodosy form so it is used as anti-inflammatory drug. The second brand is uh, Genistein. It is manufactured by Hangzhou Pharmaceuticals. We take its dose 200mg to 300mg per day. This product is formulated in capsule dosage form and we take it as antibacterial agent. The next brand is Dadzin. It is manufactured by Handen Genin Pharmaceuticals. We take its dose to 50 mg to 300 mg and is formulated in tablet dosage form. So, this brand or product is taken as antioxidant drug. Let's see what are the glycosides. Glycosides are the phytoconstituents that has been derived from the plant sources. And glycoside is any molecule in which a sugar group is bonded through its anomeric carbon atom to another group and to form glycosidic bonds via oxygen atom or sulfur atom. So, the sugar group is known as the glycone part and the non-sugar group is generally known as the aglycone part. Basically, aglycone part is the general group of these molecules. So, you can see over here in the structures of cardioglycoside, which is the general structures of this molecule. In these structures, glycosides as a glucose moieties or substituents are attached to the basic structures of the cellular molecules. So, this linkage is 
due to the presence of oxygen atom and this ox oxygen atom is generally known as anomeric oxygen atom and the carbon which is attached to this oxygen atom is called the anomeric carbon atom. Similarly, most of the glycosides are the glucose is also attached with the alkaloids or the terpenes molecules and we can see those molecules as a terpenoidal glycosides or the alkaloidal glycosides. So you can see over here for the two more structures that is salicine and uh, glucovanilin. In salicine, the glucose moiety is attached with the methanolic groups and in glucovanilin, the glucose moiety is attached with the benzaldehyde or methoxybenzaldehyde group. So in these two groups, the basic glucose moiety is attached with the anomeric oxygen or the anomeric carbon atoms. Salicine is isolated from below salix bark. It is found in the bark of poplar species and the leaves of the willow sand poplars. It is also found in castoriums. It is used as an analgesic agent, anti-inflammatory and antipyretic drugs. The second molecule that is glucovanilin, it is isolated from vanilla beans and it is used as antimicrobial, antioxidant, anti mutagenic and anti sickle cell disease active drugs. Let's see the solubility of glycosides. Since glycosides have two parts, one is a glycon part and the other is glycon part. A glycon part is uh, insoluble in water while glycon part is water soluble. But overall glycosides are water soluble and insoluble in organic solvents. Let's see the identification test of glycosides. The glycosides can be identified by two tests that are Leberman Butcher test and the other is Killer Kalyani test. So, in the first test, we take 2 ml of extract and add 2 ml of acetic acid and 2 ml of chloroform, then cool the solutions and then added concentrated sulfuric acid. In the results, green color showed the entity of a glycone that is the steroidal part of glycosides. So, in this way, the glycosides are indicated. The second test is killer Kalyani test. In this test, a solution of glacial acetic acid that is 4 ml with the one drop of 2% fat trichloride mixture was mixed with the 10 ml of aqueous plant extract and 1 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid is added. In the results, a brown ring formed between the junctions of the two layer which indicates the presence of cardial steroidal glycosides. When we see the sources of uh, glycosides, these are isolated from digitalis family, cena leaves and cena pods and beer berry. The biological activity when we see it behaves as cardiotonic agent which is uh, due to the presence of digitalis glycosides and it behaves as uh, laxatives due to the presence of anthraquinone glycosides and it works as anti-inflammatory agent due to the presence of glycerizine glycosides. So, many other phytoconstituents are also present within the glycosides and that phytoconstituents are rutin, coristine and hesperidine. Glycosides are also used for the treatment of heart failure as well as it is used as novel anti neoplastic agents. A large range of antibiotics are prepared from glycosides. So now we can see some important pharmaceutical brands which have been launched to the market on the basis of different phytoconstituents that fall in the category of glycosides. So the first brand is bioflavonoids. It is manufactured by Douglas Laboratories and we take its dose to 50 mg orally every 12 hours or 3 times a day. It is formulated in tablet dosage form. It is used to enhance the actions of vitamin C to support blood circulations as an antioxidant and to treat allergies, virus or arthritis and other inflammatory conditions. The second brand is Ginkgo Biloba certified extract. It is manufactured by Life Extension Laboratories and we take its dose as one capsule per day. It is formulated in the capsule dosage form and it is used to support brain health and memory and circulations. This is another brand that have been launched by the Ali Nutraceuticals and the name of this brand is Black Osh. We take its uh, dose one capsule per day and it is formulated in capsule dosage form. It is uh, rich with pharmaceutical applications uh, and medicinal applications because it is used a large number of diseases that includes 
menopause, cleave, headache, hot flashes, mood changes, sleep problems, heart palpitations, night sweats, as well as vaginal dryness. Let's see what are the polyketides. Polyketides are a large group of metabolites found in the bacteria, fungi, and plants which are synthesized from acyl coenzyme precursors. So, polyketides are a diverse class of compounds that are often created by a series of molecular enzymes which either contain alternating carbonyl or methyl groups that is in the form of C double bond O and CH2. So, you can see over here two examples of the phytoconstituents that fall in the category of polyketides. And these two phytoconstituents are natamycin and galdanamycin. Now, let's see what is the natamycin. Natamycin, also known as um, pimaricin, is an antifungal medication used to treat fun fungal infections around the eye. This includes infections of the eyelids, uh, conjunctiva, and cornea. It is also used as eye drops. Natamycin is also used in the food industry as a preservative. However, these have some allergic reactions by its using as an oral dosage form. So, the second molecule is gladamycin. Let's see what is the functions and the uses of the gladamycin. Gladamycin is a 1,4-benzocunane anamycin antitumor antibiotic that inhibits the functions of HSP90 by binding to the unusual ADP and ATP binding pocket of the proteins. HSP90 client proteins play important roles in the regulations of the cell cycle, cell growth, cell survival, apoptosis, angiogenesis, and oncogenesis. Polyketides are insoluble in water, however, these are soluble in organic solvents and their solvents are chloroform, methanol, and dimethyl sulfur oxides. Now, we see the identification test through which how can we observe and confirm the presence of polyketides. In the first test, we take the sample that is 5 mg and add it to ml of sulfuric acid and shake gently. If reddish brown color produced, then it means the erythromycin is present that is the class of polyketides. In the second test, we take 5 mg of sample extract and added 5 ml of xanth xanthodriol and heat on water bath. If red color produced, then it means polyketides are present. Polyketides are isolated from different sources. The main sources from which polyketides are isolated and extracted are for bacteria, fungi, plants, certain marine animals. Polyketides also have some biological activities and these work as antibiotics, antifungal, cancer chemotherapeutics and antiparasitic effect. So you can see over here some important phytoconstituents and these phytoconstituents are macrolides, anamycins, polyenes, picromycin, galdanamycin and natamycin. Now we discuss uh, its uses and importance uh, turn by turn. So the first molecule is macrolides. Macrolides are a class of natural products that consist of a large macrocyclic electron ring to which one or more deoxygenated sugars, usually cladinose and uh, deososomines may be attached. The electron rings are usually 14, 15 and 16 membered. Macrolides belong to the polyketide class of natural products. The second molecule is uh, ensomycins. Ensomycins is a family of bacterial secondary metabolites that show antimicrobial activity against many gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria and includes various compounds including strepto, varicines and uh, rifamycins. The next molecule is picromycins. Picromycin was studied by Brockman and Heckel in 1951 and was the first antibiotic macrolide to be isolated. Picromycin is synthesized through a type 1 polyketide synthase system in Streptomyces venzuela, a species of gram-positive bacterium in the genus Streptomyces. The next two phytoconstituents that are galdanamycin and atomycin have been discussed previously. Polyketides also have some applications. These are also used as immune system suppressant. They are also used as cholesterol lowering agents. Now, we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands which have been launched on the basis of phytoconstituents that fall in the category of polyketides. So, the name of first brand is erythrocene. It is manufactured by Pfizer, Pfizer Nutraceuticals and we take its dose 500 mg per day. 
This brand has been formulated in tablet dosage form and it is used in pneumonia conditions. It is used as uh, ear infections and bronchitis. The next molecule is amphotericin B, which is manufactured by a bio laboratory nutraceuticals and we take its dose 50 mg per day. It is formulated in injection dosage form and it works as antifungal agents. Let's see what are the tannins. Tannins are a class of polyphenolic bimolecules that bind to and precipitate proteins and various other organic compounds including amino acids and alkaloids. They mainly contain more than five hydroxyl groups. In addition to tanning leather, tannins are used in photography as mordants in dyeing, clarifying wine and beer by precipitating proteins out of them. And as, 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 and as uh, astringent in medicines, tannins uh, are found commonly in the bark of trees, wood, leaves, buds, stems, fruits, seeds, roots, and plant cards. So, the tannins, uh, also called tannic acid, any of a group of pale shadow to light brown amorphous substances in the form of powder, flakes, or a spongy mass, widely distributed in the plants that used uh, chiefly in tanning leather. And dyeing fabric, making ink, and in various medical applications. So, you can see over here two further important examples that uh, fall in the category of uh, tannins, and these are the phytoconstituents that are gallic acid and the basic skeleton of uh, tannins, in which different polyhydroxy groups are condensed with each, each other and known as general structures of the condensed tannins. So, Let's see the sources and uses of gallic acid. Gallic acid is a trihydroxybenzoic acid, a type of uric acid found in gallnuts, sumac, witch hazel, tea leaves, oak bark, and other plants. The chemical formula of gallic acid is C6H2OH3CWH. It is found both free and uh, as a part of hydrolyzable tannins. So, Gallic acid is used as uh, antioxidants uh, and helps to protect uh, our cells against oxidative damage. Gallic acid was uh, found to show cytotoxicity against cancer cells without uh, harming healthy cells. Gallic acid is used as uh, a remote uh, astringent uh, in cases of internal hemorrhage. Gallic acid is also used for the treatment of diabetes mellitus. Due to the presence of hydroxyl group in the basic skeleton of the tannin molecules, these are easily soluble in water as well as in organic solvents. The organic solvents which are, which are used for the solubility of tannin molecules are methanol, ethanol, butanol, ethyl state, and chloroform. Now we see the identification test. This test is carried out by using gold beater skin test. It is carried out when a small piece of gold beater skin membrane prepared from the intestine of an ox is soaked in 20% hydrochloric acid, rinsed with distilled water and placed in a solution of tannin for 5 minutes. A brown or black color is produced on the skin due to the presence of tannins, which indicates the presence of tannin molecules. The second test is phenazone test. This test is carried out when a mixture of aqueous extract of a drug and sodium acid phosphate is heated and cooled and filtrated. A solution of phenazone is added to the filtrate. A bulky colored precipitate is formed, which indicates the presence of tannin molecules. Tannins are found in most uh, part of the plants, and these uh, plants are Potentilla erecta, in which tannins are found in the roots of these plants. Second plant is Cicium cumeni. In this plant, uh, the tannins are found in the bark of the plants. The next plant is Acacia nilotica. In this plant, uh, the tannins are found in the pod of this plant. Tannins are also active uh, agents, uh, which is uh, due to the presence of uh, Pontilia recta. In, in this uh, plant, uh, it is have antiviral anti-inflammatory activity. The second plant, Cremeria um, trienda. Uh, in this plant, antibacterial and uh, antidiarrheal activity is found. The next plant is Cesium humini. Anti-asthma and anti-ulcer activity is found in this plant. So, we discuss some important phytoconstituents which are found in these plants. And these phytoconstituents are tannic acid, primary acid, and elegy tannins. So, here we discuss some uh, important uh, phytoconstituents, their uses, and uh, isolation sources. The first 
phytoconstituents is uh, tannic acid. Tannic acid is found in the seeds, bark, cones, and hardwood plants. Tannic acid is a common mordant used in the dyeing process for cellulose fibers such as cotton, often combined with alum and iron. Nowadays, tannic acid is applied typically for the treatment of cold sores, diaper rashes, fever blisters, and uh, poison ivy. Tannic acid is also taken by mouth as oral drug and applied uh, directly for bleeding, chronic diarrhea, dysentery, uh, bloody urine, painful joints, as well as persistent cough and cancer. The second molecule that is elagitanins. Elagitanins uh, are used and isolated from uh, as these are used as bioactive polyphenols that are found in some fruits, nuts and seeds such as uh, pomegranates, black raspberries, raspberries, strawberries, walnuts and almonds. These are used uh, as a universal phytoconstituents. Uh, these, uh, the universal nature of these mechanism in common forms of cancer just that pomegranates legitanins which have been tested in both prostate and colon cancer cells by our research groups and also be useful dietary agents for the prevention and treatment of other forms of cancer such as breast cancer. So tannins are also used in tan industry and used to produce different colors in ink formations as well as used in pharmaceutical sectors. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands that have been launched on the basis of phytoconstituents that fall in the category of tannins. The first brand is Ultraslim. It is manufactured by Vitamin Comte Nutraceuticals and you take its dose 2 to 3 uh, tablet per day. It is formulated in tablet dosage form. It is used in obesity, means uh, it is used uh, in weight loss. The second brand is Pasphone. It is manufactured by High Mount uh, Pharmaceuticals and uh, it is uh, taken six tablets per day it's formulated in tablet dosage form and it is used uh, in uh, as uh, antispasmodic uh, agents let's see what are the stilbenoids stilbenoids are family of polyphenols known for the complexity of their structures and for their diverse biological activities occur with the limited but heterogeneous distributions in the plant kingdom the most prominent stilbene containing plant family is vitaceae it is represented by the famous wine producing grape that is Visita veniferia is one of the richest source of novel steel beans currently known with other families such as Gentesi and Fabiaceae. Stilbenoids are a hydroxylated diverse and derivative of steel beans. They have C6, C2 and C6 structures. In biochemical terms, they belong to the family of phenylpropanoids. Dear students, you can see over here two important phytoconstituents that fall in the category of stilbenoids and these phytoconstituents are terostilbenes and estilbenes. Now we discuss its sources and uses. Terostilbene is a polyphenol, a type of molecule that occurs in plants, particularly small berries and nuts. Blueberries uh, are particular rich sources of uh, terostilbenes. Although it is found in grapes, Terostilbenes does not survive in the formations of uh, wine process. So, terostilbene is used in the disease of uh, Alzheimer. It is also used as in the disease of uh, atherosclerosis, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and insulin resistance. The second molecule is estilbene. It is not found from the natural sources. However, it is synthesized by a coupling reactions of hydrobenzene and styrene using a palladium-2 catalyst. This reaction is carried out and uh, synthesized by mizoroki hack reactions. mizoroki hack reactions undergoes reactions typically of alkenes. e stilbene is used in the manufactures of dyes and optical brighteners and also as a phosphor and a scintillator. Stilbenes is one of the gain mediums used in the dye lasers. Stilbenoids as a phytoconstituents and natural products are insoluble in water However, these are soluble in organic solvents that includes methanol, ethanol, butanol, ethyl ester, and chloroforms. Now, we see over here some important identification tests that confirm the presence of stilbenoids molecules. The first test is ferrochloride test. It is carried out when we take a sample and then added ferrochloride solutions give the reddish brown color which indicates the presence of stilbenoids. The second test is uh, performed by permine water test. In this test, we take sample 
and added bromine water which gives the white precipitates which indicates the presence of stilbenoids. One of the most important stilbenoid producing plant is Japanese knotweed but they also have found in pine, peanuts, cranberries, jackfruits and spurs. Stilbenoids also have some biological activities. They have antimicrobial activity, anti-inflammatory activity and uh, antioxidant activity. Now we discuss some important phytoconstituents that uh, fall in the category of stilbenoids and these phytoconstituents are polyphenols, polysaccharides and some other miscellaneous compounds. Stilbenoids uh, reduce uh, markers of oxidative stress and inflammations, lower systolic blood pressures at high dosage and has various medicinal uh, properties. These students now will discuss some important pharmaceutical brands that have been launched on the basis of phytoconstituents that fall in the category of stilbenoids. The first brand is Omega Women. It is manufactured by Vesson and we take its dose to 50 mg per day. This brand or product is formulated in orally tablet dosage form and capsule dosage form which uh, take orally. So it is used as anti-cancer and antioxidant agents. The next brand is Mushroom Optimizer which is manufactured by Gyro Formulas Nutraceuticals. We take its dose 300 mg per day. It is formulated in capsule dosage form. It is used as antimicrobial and antibacterial agents. The last brand is Binolia Afra 943. It is manufactured by Fruitorb Nutraceuticals and we take its dose 300 mg per day. It is formulated in capsule dosage form and it is used as antimicrobial and antiviral agents. Dear yes, students, these are some important assignments and quiz uh, which you would have to submit after the delivery of these lectures within four to five days. The first assignment is explain isolation, separation, purification, and structural relations of glycerin glycosides. The second assignment is give chemical synthesis and biosynthesis of warfarin. And third assignment is discuss the natural sources, uses, and pharmaceutical products of glycosides and xanthones. Dear student, thank you so much for your kind attention. So please feel free to contact in case of any queries. Okay, love is bye.